Today I'm going to make a quick video about magnification um, and how to do calculations with magnification and image size and object size. Okay, so we'll start with the concept of magnification, which is the number of times bigger that an image is of a thing rather than the actual size of the thing is. So you have the size of the image of the thing the number of times bigger that it is than the size of the object is the magnification. So that equals m the magnification. And if you know two of these things, i.e. if you know the magnification and the size of the image, you can derive the size of the object. If you no two, you can work out the third. So let's have an example. Often you get a picture like this where you'll have an image, and this is an image here of Microman, and you'll be asked to work out what is the magnification of this image. Now this tends to stump students because they look at it and go, well, how on earth can I work this out? And the thing to look for is to look for the scale and the scale will be on here and the scale will have next to it will have a number say 10 micrometers now the thing to realize here is that this is the crucial part for working out the magnification for the entire drawing this is not 10 micrometers in length this is an image of something that is 10 micrometers in length so what you have to do now is to work out how large this image is. And you do this very simply by picking up a ruler and placing a ruler alongside it and measuring with a ruler the size of the scale. Now, having measured it with the ruler, we've measured it and we worked out that this is some 40 millimeters in length. The trick with this is always to put it into the smallest units that you're using. So a millimeter, and this was 40 millimeters in length, a millimeter is a thousand micrometers. So this is 40 thousand micrometers. Divide by the size of the object, and they've told you that this object is actually 10 micrometers in length, which is 10 one thousandth of a millimetre. So we divide by 10 micrometres. So we have 40,000 micrometres divided by 10 micrometres and this gives us a magnification of some 4,000 times. So from knowing the size of the scale we can measure it and work out the size of the image of the scale. We know the size of the object, which is the actual size of the scale, and the number of times bigger it is than the object is the magnification. Another classic calculation to be um, that you're presented with is you're given a picture like this, so this is an image of Microman, and you're told the number of times bigger that it is than it is in real life, which is the magnification. So for this sort of thing, a classic question would be to say, measure the width of, um, what is the actual size of the width of the head? And again with this, all you do is you take a ruler, you measure the width of the head, and let's say that that is some five centimeters, so it is some, 50 millimeters, and if it's 50 millimeters, it's 50,000 micrometers. Well, we know that this is an image of something that is larger than the object, and we know that the magnification is a number of times bigger that the image is than the object. So if we take the image size and we divide by the magnification, then we realize that it is 100 
micrometers in real life is the width of the head because that is the 50,000 which was the 5 centimeters which was the 50 millimeters divided by the 500 gives us 100 micrometers for the size so just to recap again magnification equals size of the image divided by the size of the object. Do remember that the size of the object is the actual size of the thing that you know how big it is and the size of the image is the size of the picture of the thing and the magnification is the number of times bigger that the image is than the object. Okay, hope that makes sense.